Hi, I'm Brian Hansen. I'm the research agronomist here at the Langdon Research Extension Center. And today my topic is seeding date and cultivar influence on soybean performance here in Northeast North Dakota. Now choosing the right combination of seeding date and maturity group is a very important decision to producers and especially here in Northeastern North Dakota. Um, soybean production hasn't really <clears throat> been around our area for very long. In 2011 there was about 86,000 acres and in 2017, there's about 217 or uh, 417,000 acres. So we're along the northern border. So as the growing season has been lengthening over the years, and we've had more adapted varieties that uh, we can plant up here, the soybean acres has increased. Now, soybean maturity is really caused. <coughs> there's day length affects it, and also growing degree days. And up here along the northern border growing degree days, we're about five to 700 fewer growing corn growing degree days, which soybeans are based on, compared to the southeast part of the state. So choosing the right variety, the right maturity is very important to the producers up in this area. So the study that we conducted, and it was sponsored by the Soybean Council of North Dakota, is, uh, was really initiated back in June of, of 2017, and the idea came to us. We had a hailstorm just east of Langdon here. It took out, um, very large swath of, of soybeans that got hailed out totally on June 9th. June 10th is the final planting date. And so at that time, the RMA was saying, hey, you have to replant these soybean days up to 25 days after the June 10th date. So that's July 5th, which is very impractical for this part of the state. So I was getting a lot of calls from insurance people saying, hey, do you have any hard data on, on soybean planting date maturities? And we didn't have any for this region. There's a lot of uh, data for central and southeastern North Dakota, but that is not adapted to our region. And <clears throat> up in this part of the area, we plant soybeans that are earliest maturing to start with. It's 0, 0 0.5 to 0, 0, um, 0.1 generally. But if you go down to the south, down to the south of Fargo, they plant 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So if they had a hail event on June 9th, they could pick some of these early varieties where up here in the north, we're already growing early varieties. So the methods we used, um, we picked uh, five seeding dates, uh, starting about um, May 15th, all the way up to towards the end of June, seven to 10 days, uh, whenever we could get in the field. And for soybeans, we maturity groups, we picked the 0, 0 0.5 is one of the earliest, 0, 0 0.9 and 0 0.1. So if we look at the graph to some of the data we had from 2018, on May 15th, our first date, the 0, 0 0.9 and 0 0.1, had the highest yields about six bushel better than the 0, 0 0.5. While we went to the May 24th date, we saw similar uh, results, only not quite as much yield difference. They yielded about four bushel better the later maturing varieties. However, as we got into June, we saw <clears throat> that the variety 0, 0 0.9 had the highest yields, and actually the earliest variety and the latest variety had uh, yields that were not significant from one another. And at the June 14th date, the earliest variety had the highest yield. So if we look at the varieties um, from the May 15th to June 14th, the 0, 0 0.5 only dropped about 25% with a 0, 0 0.9 maturity group and 0, 0. or 0 0.1 dropped um, 39%. So you see the later maturing varieties have the highest yields early on, but as we get into June and the shorter time frame, um, the yields drop off quite significantly. And on the June 24th date that year, we planted none of the varieties matured. We had our first freeze on September 29th. Uh, this past year in 2019, well, it was quite a year in North Dakota. And uh, we had again planted this trial and uh, we harvested the first and second date. And again, the, it was similar results. The later maturing varieties did better compared to the early ones in the first and second date. But the last three dates, uh, we got a snowstorm up here. We had about 20 inches of snow. Uh, the snow was above the soybeans, and uh, when it melted, it dragged all the soybeans to the ground and it basically made harvestable unattainable. So we didn't get any results last year, but we did plant the trial again this year, and uh, we should have, hopefully, results if the weather treats its rights. So that's the information I had on soybean seeding date and uh, what maturity group to plant on which date. So thank you very much.